Hello, and welcome to another tutorial on how to find lesson plans for your classes. And today I'm going to show you a website that I'm pretty sure you are just going to love. Um, it's LearnZillion, and of course you go up here and you type in the URL. Um, just type in LearnZillion.com, you know, they do all this other gobbledygook stuff. And when you get to learn zillion uh, it's going to ask you to open up a free account go right ahead and do that uh, you can definitely access a lot of things here for free so it's well worth your time when we get here to this front page uh, you can see that there's a bunch of different ways on how to navigate so i'm going to show you the different ways the first step is if you look here it has everything segmented by grade and it includes not just math but also ELA stuff. So if we're going to go and search by grade, let's take a look into sixth grade. And for today, I want to focus on statistics and probability. So we're going to go down here and we're going to click that on. And you can see that there's a bunch of information already available for you at the get-go. You not want to narrow down exactly what kind of lesson you want to give and you can see that there are links here. Develop an understanding of statistical variability or do you want to summarize and describe distributions? I'm going to go up here on the top and I'm going to click the first one and see what's going on there. We have an ability to see who the creator is, so when you happen to enjoy a person's lesson plans, you might want to search uh, for them through that avenue. And then, of course, we also have what our standards are, so that makes it a lot easier to uh, put our lesson plans together. Lesson plan and about this lesson. Let's take a look at it because I want to make sure that it's worthwhile to use and we see we have some big ideas here special materials none all right this lesson students will learn to identify and create statistical questions okay great so let's take a look we're going to begin the lesson plan and you want to take note here that you have this nice little slide that you can use and also on the side how handy is this teacher notes meaning notes for you that you can use. I love saving time, don't you? <laughs> so you can see here um, the cute little interaction stuff and then all of this guiding questions that you can use. It's handy. Um, and it just totally walks you through a lesson that you can use this as a foundational basis or again if you want you can um, just use pieces of it. It's you know, totally up to you. And let's go back to the home page. So that's one way of looking for it. I think you also like this up here, Common Core Navigator. Now, how nice is this? If we look at math grades K through eight, and it's, it's divided up into the different strands, right? So you can very easily start to see, you know, oh, where is this? If I want to do statistics and probability, where does it fall into? Oh, we have sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade. That's perfect. Also, if we want um, to go into high school level, so we'll go here, and we can see that the strands are you know, segmented in this way. So we want to go and look at statistics and probability. So we'll click that on. And it's further broken up to exactly what you would like, looking at the different um, Common Core standards. And then these little folders let you know exactly what lessons are within them. So we looked at um, the K-8 grades the first time. So let's take a look at the high school's um, lessons. Let's just click on this one here and see what it brings us. Nice. We have, again, the author up here. We have the standards up here. It gives us a description of what the Common Core standard is. 
and that's always a fun thing to copy and paste very easily. And we have the core lessons which are in videos. So let's take a look at this lesson here. Describe a sample space by organizing outcomes. Okay, what do we have besides the video? Let's see what else we have here. Resources. Lesson slides. We've seen some of the lesson slides already. Let's have a preview of this one. Okay. Nice. Uh, simple. Easy to follow. Um, general resources. Parent letter. Something we can come back to. Discussion protocol. Let's preview this. What's that about? Oh, okay, so we can have um, a deeper lesson here all written out for us. And like I say, if, uh, if I can save my time, I'm going for it. And notes template, edible template for student notes. Can be used with any learn to learn lesson. Okay, all of a sudden we could always save. Um, the thing here with the parent letter, this is when you want to share resources. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a sec. Um, if you ever wanted to uh, have your parents involved, um, you can send them this, and you can also send this to your students, that gives you a Learn Zillion code. And that's very handy uh, because it allows um, students and parents to quickly access these lessons instead of going through all of the hassle that we're going through as professionals, right? So we see here we're going to click on what the quick code is and it comes out. You just need to copy and paste that and as you can see you give it to the students, you can give it to the parents, go to learnzillion.com, enter that code and it's going to take you right here. Let's take a look at this video lesson they give us. Okay, so um, what you can see is that the individual teachers are recording this themselves and um, it gives a nice visual projection that you can use uh, in your classroom. So going back to the home page, we can search for lessons by choosing a grade level. We can also go to uh, the math strand directly and it's also divided up further into grades. Or we can go to the Common Core Navigator. I find this very handy because it tells us simply and quite easily uh, what is available under all of the different uh, Common Core strands. And we can also, it's broken up K-8 and also broken up into high school. So a lot of information here um, that I think is very handy and robust amount of stuff. So considering the different lessons that you might want to use, different resources are available, but they all have like videos and they all have some sort of supportive material for you to use. I also like the whole idea of the teacher notes where um, all that information is given to me. You know, what are the big questions? What are some, you know, different types of uh, questions you can ask students? All of this is very helpful because, as we know, we're all very terribly busy and anything that saves us time um, and is worthwhile for our students is worth looking into. So I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope that LearnZillion is going to be a good resource for you. Thanks!